So Wilson's theorem is a very classic result that you learn maybe halfway through a course in elementary number theory. So let's look at four main ways to state this theorem. First, the classic way. If p is prime, then p minus one factorial is congruent to minus one mod p. A small tweak of that would be if p is prime, then p minus two factorial is congruent to one mod p. But here's some other versions. The first is an if and only if statement. So n bigger than or equal to two is prime if and only if n minus one factorial is congruent to minus one mod in. But there's a version of this with all the details. So for primes p, we have the standard statement. For composites not equal to 4, n minus 1 factorial is 0 mod n. And then we've got this special case when n is 4. So don't forget to subscribe.